वेलकम ऑल वेलकम टू दिस सीरीज ऑफ वीडियो इन व्हिच आई विल बी सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम्स बेस्ड ऑन द इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव प्रोपेगेशन सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व सो लेट अस सी व्हाट इज गिवन इन द प्रॉब्लम सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज गिवन द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इन अ फ्री स्पेस इज गिवन बाय e इक्वल टू 50 cos 10 पावर t इनटू t 10 पावर 8 इनटू t प्लस बीटा x ay वोल्ट्स पर मीटर सो दिस इज द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एक्सप्रेशन गिवन एंड व्हाट इट इज आस्किंग it is asking find the direction of wave propagation just seeing the equation what is the direction of wave propagation is the first question second question is calculate the beta value and the time it takes to travel a distance of lambda by 2 okay and next is sketch the wave at t equals to 0 t by 4 and t by 2 basically it is asking that what is the what the wave will look like if you draw the wave for t equals to 0 time t equals to One fourth of the total time period at t by four and t equals to t by two. So these three questions we also we have to solve. Now let us see one by one how we can uh, solve all this. So first of all, the question it is given that bit a I am solving. So it is given that e equals to fifty cos of ten power eight into t plus beta x a y. volts per meter so this is the question given okay now from the question what we can get so we have to compare this equation with the standard form okay so what is the standard form if you remember that so that is e power minus alpha e power minus alpha z sorry e0 into e power minus alpha z cos of omega t minus beta z into a z so this was the standard equation uh, we need to compare with right so now so here ax sorry ax or ay whatever it is given in the direction of that e field is oriented so if i compare that so from this you should know that this omega t minus beta z will give you the what is the direction of wave propagation so if i compare that omega t minus beta z instead of that what is written so we can compare this with omega t plus beta x so in this format it is written so in this case so here you see here the uh, wave propagation direction is in plus z direction okay and in this equation it is written plus beta x so here the wave propagation will be minus x direction okay if it would have been written omega t minus beta x then the direction would have been positive x direction but in this case it is given as omega t plus beta x as the plus symbol is here that's why the direction will be minus x direction or in the negative direction of the x okay so this one is not required to write the answer so this is the answer to bit number a okay so next is it is asking so what it is asking so it is asking um, calculate the beta value and the distance travel sorry time taken to travel a distance of lambda by 2 so let us see that how to do that so bit b we have to answer so it is asking what is the value of beta okay so you know the formula of beta is equals to omega by c so that is from the wave propagation uh, properties that you can get it there so that is equals to omega is how much so see if you again compare this form with this equation then omega comes out to be how much omega is equals to 10 power 8 okay so that means here 10 power 8 divided by c so why c is c is what c is the speed of light that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second okay now why c is taken how do you know what the it is in the speed of light that's because the wave is propagating in the free space so when a wave is propagating in the free space then the velocity is taken as the speed of light so that's why we will write here 3 into 10 power 8 so that is how much 10 power 8 10 power 8 get cancel so 1 by 3 and beta value comes as around 0.3333 okay you can um, further increase also so radians per meter so this is the value of beta next question is what next question is how to find the value of lambda by 2 so how do we find that so to calculate the lambda value so first of all we need to know what is the value of t okay so one uh, uh, relation we know lambda equals to c by f so that is the formula for lambda now this can be written as lambda is equals to c into t or the time period 
so 1 by a 1 by f is basically equals to t or the time period now in the question it is asking that for a time of for a distance of how much for a distance of lambda by 2 okay so now for lambda by 2 it will obviously take a, uh, how much time it will take obviously half time if lambda wavelength and it is taking a time of t because c is constant here so if i want the lambda by 2 value so lambda by 2 distance if it travels then it will travel for how much time it will travel for t by 2 time right so that how we can calculate that so that means i can take let's say t1 as a variable so t1 is a variable which is nothing but my t by 2 half of the time period so that is equals to 1 by 2 into 2 pi by omega okay so how i am writing 2 pi by omega so again it comes the formula that you know omega equals to 2 pi f okay that implies your f is equals to omega by 2 pi when f is equals to omega omega by 2 pi f is nothing but your 1 by t so that's why i've written here so i can write here t is equals to 2 pi by omega so this is how this is coming right so that is equals to again so uh, that is equals to um, 1 by 2 into 2 pi divided by omega is given as 10 power 8 so it is here omega is given here 10 power 8 so that will be equals to if i calculate uh, it will come around 31.42 nanoseconds okay nano means 10 power 9 it will come so nanoseconds so it takes a time of 31.42 nanosecond to travel a distance of lambda by 2 or the half of the wavelength okay so alternative formula is also there you can use other formulas as well but this is the easy one okay so next it is asking to draw the waveform at t equals to 0 t by 4 and t by 2 so let us see how to do that i'll go to new page now okay so here we are going to solve the bit number c here so how do i solve that first of all let me just uh, write the uh, wave equation then it will be easy from there so what is the wave equation so the wave equation is given as e equals to 50 cos 10 power 8t plus beta x into a y volts per meter it is given in the question okay from here we are going to solve the things so now here if you see first question is at t equals to 0 now if t equals to 0 basically this term will be 0 so that implies the expression of e will be 50 cos of omega t is 0 so only beta x okay into a y right now if i take t equals to t by 4 so why t by 4 i am taking so see here in the question it is asking t by 4 means one fourth of the time period so that implies what will be e value so e will be equals to 50 into cos of omega into omega into t so t here is 2 by uh, t here is t by 4 right so if i consider your t is equals to sorry we will do from there omega equals to 2 pi f we know right that implies f equals to omega by 2 pi right that implies i can write t by sorry t equals to 2 pi by omega right and here what we have to take we have to take t by 4 that implies here i can write t by 4 is equals to 2 pi by 4 omega okay so that how we can write omega into so 2 pi by 4 omega so t by 4 means 2 pi by 4 omega plus beta x is there into a y okay so now if i see this what uh, what will happen here so here uh, omega omega get cancel 2 is get cancel so it is 50 cos of i can write in this form beta x plus it will be pi by 2 right so beta x pi by 2 a y so this is the t by 4 time next if i take t equals to t by 2 that is what the third question is asking so that will be equals to how much e equals to 50 cos of omega is to 2 pi divided by how much 2 pi divided by 2 omega so instead of 2 i will write here 2 so it will be 2 omega plus beta x a y okay 
now this will be equals to how much 50 cos of omega omega gate cancel 2 gate cancel so i can write rearranging i can write beta x plus pi into this one okay now when it is beta x into pi so cos uh, cos of theta plus pi gives you how much minus so that is equals to minus 50 cos of beta x okay so you can simplify this now here also uh, here also cos of theta plus pi by 2 it gives you minus sorry yeah minus sin of beta x so theta pi by uh, theta of pi by 2 theta plus pi by 2 I am taking here. Now, we have three equations one is 50 cos of beta x, one is minus 50 cos of sin beta x and minus 50 cos of beta x. Okay? We have to draw these four uh, equations in, in a graph. So, how do we represent that? So, let us go to a new page. Okay. So, to represent that, so what we need? We need a reference line and a reference plane. So, first I will uh, draw a reference line like this and I am going to draw three waveforms for t equals to 0, for t equals to 1 and for t equals to, uh, sorry t equals to t by 4 and t equals to t by 2. Okay? So, now how do we draw that? So, first one is what? First one I will write here, no, sorry. So, first one is 50 cos of beta x simple this one I have to draw. So, how do I draw that? So, I need to draw a cosine function. So, as you know a cosine function always starts from the here right. So, I can draw a figure like this we will make it little bit smaller. I will extend uh, this to the other side as well. So, the waveform is not coming perfect, but consider it is like this. So, what is this point? This is 50, this value is 50 and this value is minus 50. Okay. So, maximum voltage and minimum voltage here. Next, what is the waveform? Next is minus of 50, sorry, minus of 50 sin into beta x. So, see here I am taking the second one is this one. So, how do you draw that? So, if a sine function is there and minus is there that means it will go like this. So, negative sine function So, now sine function always starts from the origin as it is negative sine. So, it will start from the negative it will go to the negative side first. So, this is what this is minus 50 and this is your plus 50 for the second waveform. Okay. Now, next waveform is what minus 50 of cos beta x. So, minus, co, uh, uh, minus 50 of cos beta x how do we do that? So, I will just uh, exp expand this line little bit. Okay. Now, minus 50 cos beta x. So, cos beta x always starts from the highest peak and it is minus. So, instead of starting from here, it will start from this point. So, this is how it will work. So, this is your minus 50 and this one is your plus 50. Okay. So, here one thing we need to notice what is that point, what is that thing? So, you see the origin point is here okay, for t equals to 0, when t equals to so this is t equals to 0. Okay. Now, when t equals to t by 4 means it uh, covers a uh, time of 1 fourth of the time period, then the point origin point is shifting here and then the point is shifting here. right? So, if I draw a line to them, so if I draw a line like this. So, what, what I am doing basically this point, so this point is shifting in this direction, okay, is shifting in the negative direction. Okay. So, this is how uh, you can uh, solve this problem 
and other thing in this problem this one is t by 4 and this one is equals to t by 2 ok this point is your 0 and uh, this point is will be your if it is starting from here then this point will be your lambda value similarly here it is 0 and uh, when it is starting from here so this point again will be your lambda value again if, if it is here then this point will be your lambda value so middle of that is lambda by 2 so accordingly it will work ok. So, this is how and what is this axis this axis is your x axis ok and now the question is why I am shifting the point in the negative direction not in this direction I can do in this direction also why I am not doing that because in the first question itself we solve the problem that the wave is moving in the negative x direction right. So, here yeah. So, here the wave is moving in the negative x direction that is why the point ref point of reference is moving in the negative x direction ok. So, this is how you can solve this problem and uh, keep visiting I will uh, solve the solve another problem in the subsequent videos. Thank you.